Hey everybody, this is Indy. I'm here to bring you another episode of Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we got the small key that was meant to... Well, that was... We well, we went to the other room and we found the stray fairy. Then we had to come back here to get the small key. But I thought the small key was in the room where the stray fairy was, but it turned out it wasn't. The stray fairy was in there and the small key was in here. Alright, so now we got to get all the way back up to the top floor again to get to that room where the locked door is. So the easiest way of getting up there, we're going to just go ahead and take this shortcut again because, you know, tracing around the whole dungeon is just going to be time consuming and thank god they uh, made this shortcut, which I did also mention in the last video that I'm glad they actually made this available for you to actually get up to the top here without having to go around the whole dungeon again like a, like a maniac or some crazy person. <laughs> But if you wasn't like recording, I guess you could like take your time with the dungeon and just go around again if you really wanted to, but I don't see the point in why you would. But, uh, yeah. Oh well, it doesn't matter, it all depends how you want to play it. But um, yeah, considering I am recording, I am going to do it the quicker way. So let's get all the way to the top here. I did my um, English exam today. Uh, I did that this morning and it was 2 hours and 22 minutes and I managed to do like, uh, I did three of the questions, two of them were long answer questions, you had to write about a uh, paragraph, you had to write a paragraph about, um, oh no you didn't have to write a paragraph, you had to write like a essay uh, in, in these two questions, question 5 and 6, and those were the questions that the teacher told us to do. Uh, first, instead of starting off with the easier questions first, because if you did the easier question first, you'd be worn out by the time you got to the long answer questions, and you'll miss out on a whole ton of marks, because question 6 had 24 marks, and question 5 had 16, so it would be better off to, you know, start, I mean, it's common sense, really, to start off with the, with the um, longer questions, because uh, you're more likely to get those marks if you do them, if you do those questions first and not leave them to last because if you get their um if you do the last questions last you'll end up being worn out by the time you finish the exam so I wasn't really worried because I managed to get those uh two answer two long answer questions done out of the way and uh, the only questions that I didn't manage to do or <coughs> was questions two, three, and four, but I'm not really bothered about that because they're only eight mark questions. And I managed to do question one. Uh, and that was kind of a long question. Um, it was about something to do with why children are locked indoors and they need to get outside more or something like that. And you need to write why they needed to go outside and what are the benefits of going outside. Why... W why you need to go outside and get fresh air and stuff like that. So it was kind of easy. I wouldn't say that the exam was hard. But I did take time to think because I didn't want to rush questions 5 and 6 and then do a whole load of crap and not get good marks. So I mainly focused on those questions for like the first hour. And by the time I did those questions, I got to the question 1. And it was like an hour and a half already into the exam by the, by the time I did question 5 and 6 so I didn't really get much of question um, well I did do question 1 like I said but I didn't really get much of question 2 done I wrote about a paragraph <laughs> and that was about it and then the test was over so I had to hand in my paper but hopefully I get that C grade that I've been wanting so then I don't have to attend that class anymore because I'm pretty because pretty much the only reason we're there is to get the C grade. You don't necessarily you don't need an A star, which is the equivalent to an A plus if you're in America or anywhere else. I don't know where else they do A star, but here it's A plus. No, here it's A star. In America, it's A plus. As far as I know, America is the only place that has A star or A plus or any other places around that area <clears throat> such as like even South America they might have A plus or anywhere else I don't know but here it's A star <clears throat> and we have a massive chasm that we can't even cross over because that is a very long gap and that's a very long drop 
Are we gonna make that? Or <laughs> are we gonna make that? No, we. Um, we're not gonna make that jump, but we could probably make the fall. So let's try and fall down without taking any damage. No, I need to move. I need to move. That's gonna damage me. Ugh, I need. I, I needed enough um, space to actually have a roll up, but like to be able to roll as soon as I landed, but I didn't have enough space to do that. So what you have to do is come back to this room. Now this is the purpose of this room right here. Is that, you know, we lighted all those torches and it opened up a door here. Well, we never went into this door. Why? Because this is why. And I wanted to do this right near the end of the dungeon because it's kind of um, necessary to do it. It's the best way to do this dungeon is to do this part last and not do this part during the dungeon. You can if you want to, but I, it makes things a lot more harder for you. So just do it like this. <laughs> Because what this does is basically, um, literally it blocks all access to the dungeon, mostly, to any other rooms that you want to go to. Because you'll always end up at that pillar. And some, some corridors do have access to other rooms, even if you do have that massive pillar sticking in the middle of the room. But it's kind of hard to navigate around this dungeon with that thing jutting out like a big pile of shit. But... <laughs> But uh, we're gonna we're gonna try and um, <clears throat> get our way around this, <clears throat> no problem. Like I say, just go around the same way we did last time. Just go up the shortcut way. Even though technically this isn't the shortcut way anymore anymore, because this is pretty much the only way you can get around with that pillow, with that pillow, without that with that pillar in the middle. It, what? What? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Like, uh, what the hell was I just saying <laughs> just then? Man. Complete and absolute gibberish. I wasn't even talking proper English. Yeah, there's a ma there's a giant pillar in the middle. And it's kind of hard for you to nav navigate. <laughs> and this is the only way how you're going to be able to knock down this pillar. So, just come around this way. I guess you could go around the other way. You know, the room with the... Uh, puzzle, but you don't want to do that. You don't want to do the whole puzzle again. So, just come this way because it's easier. <laughs> and then, because what this does is by punching those ice blocks out the way, it makes the pillar pillar become shorter. Yes, I said pillar, not pillow. Why did I suddenly think of pillow? I don't know. Crazy. I'm... Um, I'm a crazy person. Right. <clears throat> now this one you can't punch out. This one's just made of stone rock or some crap. Yeah, but the blue ones are ice. The grey one's the stone one. And uh, basically just punch this last one out. And it makes ac an access. Makes the, um, the platform with the snowballs accessible. So we can actually gain access to the other side of this. Uh, chasm right here, and then yeah, we're not home free yet though. We still got plenty more left of this. Well, we don't have plenty more left, I wouldn't say. I mean, the boss key's not that far away. And right, so this is the boss door. Yeah, I think this is kind of. I always thought that this entrance to the boss room is kind of epic because it's something it looks like a dome almost like I, I wouldn't say wow well, yeah it's like something you'd seen a Mario game kind of you know Bowser because the spikes but yeah that's kind of what it reminds me of oh, this guy Deku mask on here but yeah I got home from that exam and I just got into bed closed my eyes and went to sleep because that's all I had to do was to go in for the exam and just come home and then just went to bed. So I've gotten plenty of rest. That's good. That's a good thing. <laughs> I would have stayed up and played Mario Galaxy if I wasn't so tired after doing all that hard work. But uh, I managed to get some Mario Galaxy in before I managed before I um, started this recording. <clears throat> I finished the main story and I'm now in World S. But I don't know how you start collecting the green stars. 
But I don't want anyone to spoil any of those green star locations for me because I want to do that all on my own. So... I mean if I do get really ridiculously stuck, I could ask you guys for some help. But at the moment I'm trying to do this uh, by myself so I can... Whoa, crap. So then I can remember by myself because, like they say, if you do it by yourself, the more familiar you become with it. But if you do it like by watching someone else do it, you're more likely to forget a lot quicker. I don't know if that makes any sense, but yeah. Did those fire arrows kill that genie even quicker than what my normal arrows did? God, those things just go down like wildfire, I swear. They're <laughs> dropping down like dead flies. Well, I see what's in these pots right here. Probably nothing. But I would like some arrows, even though I don't really need them, but it's necessary to hold, like, f hold... Well, it's nice to hold a maximum amount of arrows with you. Even though we won't be needing them for much for anything else, really. Because this dungeon's almost over. <clears throat> and let us get the boss key. Hell yes. Look at that golden key, man. That golden sexiness. That golden key. And look at this chest. Yeah, very nice. Alright, let's get out of here. I like that little room, though. Like, it looks... It's a, I like that caged room. It's just so tiny and unnecessary, but it looks so cool. <laughs> Cause you could you could put the boss root you could put the boss key in that huge room in there. I, I, it's kind of nice that they put like a little room outside there that you can only get into, but from that room over there, from the mini boss room. But um, now there is one more thing left to do, I think. Are we missing? Yeah, we are missing some more stray fairies. What the hell? Oh, that's right. Yeah, I didn't go back to the bottom floor and get those stray fairies, did I? You know, the ones with the um, the ones in that room with the uh, I with the block that's covered in ice. Yeah, I didn't get those stray fairies, and I didn't get the one where I pushed the two where where I pushed the um, two tower block, and it made a chest appear in that room. And I didn't get that either, so we're going to go ahead and get those, because we can. When I first played this game, I always thought that you could only get those stray fairies by using the hookshot, but no, you can't. Well, oh crap, yeah, I forgot about that. Ugh. Makes that access unaccessible, so now we have to go the long way around, so... By the long way, I mean climbing up this huge-ass ladder again. I'm climbing, 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 climbing to the top. Climbing, climbing, climbing to the top, top, top. Work it, baby. Work it, work it. <laughs> right, so now we're on the top. And. Yeah, we do need our fire arrows equipped for this, so might as well get those on. And by the way, these fire arrows kill those, wo those white wolf enemies very quickly, I can tell you. Wolf foes, I think they're called, aren't they? I like to call them Wolverine, because they look like Wolverine. Almost, I don't know. I've never watched X-Men, to be honest, but I've kind of got an idea enough to know what Wolverine looks like, but I don't know what he looks like, if you know what I mean. <laughs> like, I've seen, like, I've heard about him, but I haven't actually, I don't think I've actually seen him. But I wouldn't know, because I've not watched X-Men. I never have. Hell, I don't even know if it's X-Men that I'm thinking of right now. That Wolverine is in it. I don't even know if Wolverine... Is Wolverine in X-Men? I think he is. But, like I say, I don't know. <laughs> Rant over. I do not know what Wolverine or what series Wolverine comes from, okay? <laughs> And then that makes a chest appear, so I don't know, uh, yeah, stray fairies in that chest. I was about to say I don't know what's in that chest, but yeah, I do. Got another stray fairy in here. That's the whole purpose of the reason why we even came into this room, and I was like, wondering what's in that chest. Imagine, hoping that there's some, someone's banging upstairs and it's distracting me. Like, it's putting me off. <laughs> 
of what I'm trying to say. Let's move this. Yeah, that'd be my brother because my bedroom's above. My room is above the kitchen, and I'm in the kitchen recording right now. Um. All right, so we push this one up and then push that across and then push it up again which gains us access to the room up there so nicely done because I always thought you could only come in here and get these stray fairies when you got the hook shot because I always thought that there was no way of getting up there by pushing that block so I, I always like basically what I used to do when I first started playing this game was I always used to beat Great Bay Temple then come back to this dungeon and get all the stray furries in here by coming back after I did Great Bay Temple because I knew that I didn't get all the stray furries in this dungeon so I had to come back and get all those stray furries again with the hookshot and that's why I never did it this way before in fact I only found out that you could only do it this way recently <laughs> Before I always used to do Great Bay Temple, get all the stray fairies in there before I came here and got all the stray fairies in this dungeon. Anyway, we need to go all the way back to the top again. Because we need to get another stray fairy, which is the last stray fairy. Hooray! The most tedious stray fairy in the whole game to get. I'm not even joking. <laughs> there must be another way of getting it, but this is the only way I do it. Well, this is the only way I know how to do it. I mean, if there is another way, you guys can tell me. But seriously, this is going to take like five minutes <laughs> for me to get this thing. But I'm willing to do that. Because <clears throat> I need to get all straight fairies in this dungeon. So make way to the top. To the top. Let's get a gore mask on right here. I'm gonna roll into those snowballs. What the hell? Whoa, dude, calm down. I thought I was almost about to fall off just then. Uh, now that's not gonna work. Never mind. I want to see if that worked, but it didn't. Because that would have made that a hell of a lot more quicker. Right. Now this is how I do this straight furry. I don't know if there's any other way of doing this, but... Yep. This is the only way I know, so now it's just a waiting game. <laughs> Yeah, we're just going to have to wait for these flowers to go down so I can put my controller down for a bit and uh, talk. I don't know what to talk about, but yeah, this is fun. Flower, spinny, 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 spinny. I'm kicking my legs. Damn, are you tired yet? <laughs> I'm surprised those flowers don't wilter. It's like extreme conditions in here. Like it's really cold, and I don't see how those flowers aren't wiltering. But I'm gonna I'm gonna spray my decky nuts. Spray my decky nuts. Eee. <laughs> it's like I'm taking a dump, I'm taking a crap. I'm a bird. I'm a flying I'm a flying decky bird, and I'm taking a crap. <laughs> So just wait for the uh Yeah. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Yeah, could this go any more slower? Could this go any more slower? So how y'all doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Yeah, I just didn't know what oh crap, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm bored, uh, waiting for these, waiting for this, oh, I'm being crazy, alright, now I think we're here now actually, are we here, 
Are we here? Oh! 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 Wait, move back. I move my lee, I move my flowers back and forth, I wave my flowers back and forth, I'm going in, I'm going in. And here's our chest. Way right. Yeah, I'm sorry for singing that song, I know that song's very annoying. Trust me, I do. <laughs> Let's just land on this platform so we don't have to go all the way down to the bottom of the friggin' dungeon again. Let me guess, we have to punch out those snowballs, right? Oh, no, we don't. Oh, that's cool. Huh. Because I thought if you go up those staircases, like, the snowballs respawn, but considering we're all in the main room and all, and basically that that's a connective to the bottom... Well, it's, it's a connect... It's a connected hallway to the bottom down there. So, basically, that is linked to the main room, so it wouldn't regenerate. All oh, right, that's cool. Like, the snowballs didn't respawn or anything. Nice. That means that doesn't... That means that saves time. Let's go. Goron mask on here and make our way to the other side. Gotta take it on the other side. What the hell? Damn it, now I am wasting time, you... Ugh. You potato. That's what Goron looks like. Goron looks like a potato. And I'm about to roll. I'm a rolling potato. I'm gonna fly onto the other side and here we go guys this is the boss room indeed the most epicest I wouldn't say it's the most epicest but well uh, it's tied between this boss and the final boss no not yeah the final boss is pretty epic if you if you beat the final boss without using the most powerful mask it makes the battle drag out a lot longer but yeah, I'd say that if it was ordinary bosses, not final bosses, it counted. I'd say that this boss and the last guardian boss from the last dungeon, I'd say that that boss and that boss and this boss are the most epicest bosses in this game. Anyway, I'm talking too much now, so I'm going to end off the video and see you all in the next episode. Uh... In the next video, we are going to fight the second boss in The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. So, yeah. Until then, take care, everybody. Hope you enjoyed my video, and thanks for watching. This is NDM saying goodbye.